All right, we've got our neighbor's 2013 Chevy Equinox, uh, and we're going to put a catalytic converter protector called the cap clamp on it. How much was this thing? Uh, 200 bucks. 200 bucks. Boy, okay. <laughs> a little profit margin, perhaps, in there, but <laughs> yeah. I suppose they got to custom make them, so. All right, let's see how it goes. All right, thanks for doing that. Yeah, so right. the first thing we're doing is finding the right diameter brackets to go around. Pull well, inside to side to see the diameter there. Oh, yeah. And this Goes is pretty good. tight. Yep. So, All right, we'll go with those. In the middle? Those go in between, like, drop it right into, it's like... the meat of the sandwich. There yep, oh, yeah, right. exactly. So that goes in there. And another one. And then you're going to clamp it around there and then tighten it down. How do we put the wires through it? You just uh, feed them through. Okay. And then are there ends or rules or whatever for them? Eventually. Oh. Do we have the, the, the uh, cable around various other um, parts, you know? Okay. Around the frame if you can. I think the trick is probably to make sure it's not rattling against it. That's correct. Not really. Okay. This is the wire that we're going to feed through those brackets. Should make it really hard to cut. You gotta make that, and we can do it. Uh, we figure after out we, we have to keep the go uh, front, brackets a little loose. Go back to front because when you tighten it up, back. those holes get offset, which tightens down that cable. So until we get it threaded in, we gotta have that loose. Oh, I can't. I can't see you, sir. And then clamp it down. Okay. Nope. Okay. And all right. The, that doesn't look like a disincentive to go under here. I don't know what. I guess the question we'll have to find out if it. And let me know if it rattles when you drive down the street. Uh -huh. 